Okay. Next is the junior civic and presentation. Uh, Jamie, we'll yes, what you do. Uh, I, I would like to say that the technical support staff here is top notch. Some people get low level tech tools. We have the international president, the regional director, and a governor elect to our tech support. <laughs> Good morning, Civitans. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I think most people know me, <laughs> can't help but know me, Jeannie Jarrett. Um, I've been the chair of this great junior Civitan organization for the West Virginia District and the Little Cardinal District since 1998. So thanks to technology, even though I can't be with you in Columbus today, I'm able to be here in North Carolina, Shalot, North Carolina with my baby granddaughter and my daughter. And with that, I'd like to share the first video that I have to show you. Bear with me. Hold on. Okay, oops. Let me just get this out of the way. There it goes. And. Hey, Jamie, will you do the screen share so you have to do um, share computer sound with it? So do you want to stop sharing and try again? Jeannie, you have to stop share and reshare it with the computer sound. I'm sorry, what did you say? Did Jeannie, you say when you... Jeannie, it's Carmen. When you go to hit share, there's two little boxes at the bottom of that share box for Oh, share I did hit them. They must have unclicked. Sound. Okay, let me let me go back and start it again. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh, yes. Sorry. Hi, I'm Spandana Mikla. I'm the fundraising co officer, the other fundraising co officer for Region 4. I'm a member of the George Washington Junior Civitans, and I will be entering 12th grade this year. And I wanted to be on the council because I wanted to give back to and serve my community at a larger level. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm your um fundraising co-officer for Region 4. Uh, I'm from Winston Churchill High School and I'm about to become a senior this year. I'm excited to be on the Leadership Council because um, I want to spread the club's mission of kindness and altruism to incoming students. Hi guys, uh, my name is Leanna Kawash and I'm, in the, I'm the Meetings and Conventions Officer for Region 4. I go to George Washington High School and I'm going into my senior year and I'm really excited about the next uh, school year and being on the leadership council for region four because I'm really excited to bring junior civitans to more people in the school communities and teach them more about the value of community service through the club. Hi, my name is Kieran Warner. I'm the membership and communications officer for region four. Um, I attend James Madison High School and I'm going to be a senior and I want to be on the council because I just love the junior civic community and I just wanted to get on at a larger level just so I could interact with more clubs. Hi, I'm Mallory Votto. I am the service project officer for Region 4. I go to James Madison High School and I'm a senior. I want to be on the leadership council because I really love doing different projects in the past to help serve the people in my community. And I'm really excited to be able to do that at a new level this year. Hi, my name is Anais New Shaker and I serve as the Sponsor Club Relationship Officer. And I am a rising junior at George Washington High School. And I am um, excited to be on the Leadership Council because I wish to further my passion to help others and also connect the clubs in a more um, easy manner. Thank you. 
Hi, I'm Nora Votto. I'm the co-sponsor club relations officer for Region 4. I go to James Madison High School. I'm going to be a sophomore and I wanted to be on the leadership council because I think it's really important that you make a difference within your community and I saw the work that Junior Civitan was doing within my school and I thought that the leadership council would be a great opportunity to make a difference within a wider range of people. Okay, now I'm gonna do it again. You have to click those little buttons each time, it seems like with my computer. But now we're gonna hear from our district director for this year. Um, those of you in the Cardinal District already have met her in the past. And for those of you who haven't met her, you're gonna meet her soon. I just got to find this, it's missing, <laughs> hold on. See here. Give me a second here, guys. Okay. There it goes. Okay, there we go. That's the wrong video, Jeannie. Do you need me to cue it up? I think it right here. There it is. Okay. All right, let me get it. It just took me a second here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here is Kinley. Good morning, Civitans. You just got to meet our fantastic officers of the Leadership Council for Region 4 Junior Civitans. It's hard to believe a year has passed since I first spoke to you as the governor of the Cardinal District. Today, I stand before you as the district director of the Region 4 Junior Civitans. So much has changed since I began my year as the governor. I am now a senior at George Washington High School in Charleston, West Virginia, and I'm beginning my seventh year as a junior Civitan. Back in January, Junior Civitan Chairs Jeannie Jarrett and Carmen Gorby came up with a plan to go ahead and merge the Cardinal and Chesapeake Junior Civitan districts since both of our districts were small and this would be a great pilot program for Junior Civitan International. It was approved by both district boards and international and we began setting up. Instead of a district board of directors, we will now have a leadership council, much like what Civitans are going to do in October. As I already mentioned, I'm the director who will lead the council and represents all of the junior civitans in our region. As you just saw on the video, we have seven officers on the leadership council. These officers are each responsible for critical areas of junior civitan. These officers will lead or co-lead committees dedicated to their area. These areas include membership and communication, service project, fundraising, meetings and events, and co-sponsor relations. These, the goal for these clubs is to have a representative on each of the committees, so we truly working as a team and hearing from each club. I am proud to say that we had a great turnout of junior civitans interested in applying for an office. Yes, I did say apply, since under the new program, officer positions will not be elected, but rather selected through an application process. In past years, we weren't getting more than one person to run for an office, and sometimes the chairs had to talk people into running for an office. This year, we had six officer positions to fill and we had 13 applications. I'm happy to say that we will have about a 50-50 split of officers from the two previous districts, so it is a good mix to start this new region. One of the other ideas that is being set up in our new structure is that we will have an adult mentors on each of the committees. In the past, junior civitan chairs had to do everything and this, was, this will help spread the word and get more adult civitans involved with junior civitan programs. The Leadership Council already held its first meeting on two afternoons in early August. The first day was spent getting to know each other since we were the merger of two districts. The rest of that afternoon was dedicated to training all of us so we will understand our roles and responsibilities as well as being trained on how to run a meeting since each officer will be holding committee meetings throughout the year. We met again to set the goals for 2022-2023 Junior Civitan year. The goals that were approved this meeting are is to see a growth in membership by 15% over the combined membership of last year. Communications is a critical to success and we will put together a newsletter four times per year and use other social media to enhance the communication with all of the members of our clubs. We also decided to hold regional meetings for the members. These will be, these will be virtual meetings since we currently have eight clubs located in Maryland, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and West Virginia. By going virtual, we can also invite all of the Civitan Club liaisons to attend these events as well. We will hold our first meeting on World Junior Civitan Day in late October. 
We have two goals that were tabled until September to enable the officers to reach out to their committee members to solicit their thoughts. One is the regional service project. The project that will be decided on will either be a specific project, something like being tutors for elementary school children, or a theme such as doing something to help the homeless. The theme idea will let clubs decide what exact project they will do in their community. The other goal that needs to be set is the fundraising project. A change was made on the international level and there will be no longer be district dues for, civ for Junior Civitans. Junior Civitan International has set up two options for fundraising. Districts or regions can hold a fundraiser that is approved by Junior Civitan International and the money raised would be split 25% going to the international and 75% would go to the region. We can go with one of the two approved projects or if we decide to do another one, we will have to get it approved by international. Dance-a-thon, which was a fundraiser for the Civitan International Research Center, is no longer going to be put on by International. This is now one of the two options for a regional fundraiser. Instead of the main fundraiser for support of the Junior Civitan International Research Center will be All in Summit. I attended the All in Summit Leadership Weekend in March and it was fantastic and an enriching experience. I thank all of you that made donations that went to the Civitan International Research Center. I raised over $2,000 and when I had the opportunity to see the actual center, it brought it all together. This year, All in Summit will be held in March 2023. The dates and minimum donations are still being decided. As the director, I am asked to represent our region and will be asked to raise a larger minimum, probably around $1,800. I do ask for your support in, to help me raise the minimum. I will be contacting your clubs in the next month once International sets all of the parameters. These donations will count towards the Civitan at the helm and personal donations are 100% tax deductible. In, attending to my, in addition to my attending All in Summit, this will be the second year where other officers will be able to attend. So it is open to all of our leadership council officers as well as club presidents. They will have a much smaller minimum to raise and attend this great leadership weekend. We discussed this at our leadership council meeting and the officers are very interested in attending if the timing works out for them. I do need to point out that they will not be able to solicit donations from Civitan clubs as I will be doing, but this doesn't mean a club cannot make a donation from them as well. I am excited about returning for my second All in Summit and I hope our region will have the largest delegation attending All in Summit in 2023. This is certainly going to be a year of change for both Civitans and Junior Civitans. But I know that our great junior civitans will not let us change or interfere with our mission. We want every club in our great region to concentrate on making the world a better place. This means they are going to be challenged with finding ways to make the lives of others in their communities better. Last year, our clubs did a lot of great projects, such as collecting socks and coats for the homeless, items donated to the Children's Home Society, cards to senior citizens, veterans, and others, walks to support causes, and helping the IDD community, just to name a few. We hope this year our service project committee will not only decide on a regional project, but share ideas with all of the clubs on way to reach out in service for others. Our first year as the Region 4 Junior Civitans began July 1st, and I look forward to serving as director this year. It will be a great opportunity for the Leadership Council to help all of our clubs be successful. Thank you for allowing me a few minutes to share my thoughts with you, and for all the support you have given Junior Civitans in the past and for the support you will give us during this year. Thank you. Okay, so you've just heard from our director and the entire leadership council, and you could see why for yet another year, I'm really excited about serving our great junior civitians. They are truly the source of motivation and energy. You know, and changing to this, New, it's actually called the official name is Region 4 District Junior Civitans. Okay. Um, by merging this, it's going to allow me to transition out so that I will be able to move to North Carolina and be with my daughter. But in the meantime, this year, I'm going to still work with them. And I have the extreme pleasure and honor. And like, I'm so excited about serving with another great, awesome woman from the Chesapeake District, what was the Chesapeake District, Carmen Gorby. She was the chair for the Chesapeake District Junior Civitans, and she's done some really awesome work. I mean, 
I, I learned from her. Okay. And I have the most years of service and I'm still learning, you know, with juniors and I'm still learning from her. So I'm looking forward. I think we're going to have a great year together. Okay. And we came up with this idea of having this region junior civitans um, beginning July 1st. And it's going to be a challenge, but I think Carmen and I are both ready to take on this challenge. And as Director Kinley mentioned, this year we're also going to have civitans as mentors for each committee. This will allow more civitans to get involved with the junior civitans. And Carmen and I both agree that they'll get the energy and motivation that we've gotten from the junior civitans. So I look forward to working with the mentors. In fact, I'm going to be one of the mentors for the committee. I'm gonna work with another one on the um, club relations, sponsor club relations committee. And that is the success for junior civitans and civitans. I can personally say that because my Charleston club before it you know, had to fold because of the members, unfortunately getting too old and passing away. Um, we couldn't do the projects if it wasn't with the junior civitans. We work very closely. And John Adams and George Washington, which you can hear all those officers from West Virginia from George Washington, they are truly successful. So together, civitans and junior civitan clubs, if they stay connected and intertwined, both will be successful for the year. And I hope we want to share that and get that going. Another thing that Director Kinley pointed out was that there are no district slash regional dues for junior civitans. The money that will be available for our regional junior civitan expenses is gonna come from you, the civitans. Our biggest expense each year is the cost to send chaperones to Olin Summit since there is hotel costs, airfare costs, registration. And in addition, we hope our leadership council officers are gonna attend Olin Summit for them to attend, not only do they have to raise the money for the CIRC, but they also have to pay for their transportation and registration costs. So based on the decision of the Cardinal District Board of Directors, the money in the district treasury, as Tim Cole mentioned earlier, is gonna be split among the Civitan clubs. So I'm pleading to my Cardinal Civitan clubs to please consider making a donation to the Junior Civitan uh, organization in our region four um, to show your support of Kinley, who'll be able to request donations for you as in the past years, but also to um, you know, help, even though they can't solicit to you, you know, you can give a donation to the junior civitans and we can use it to help our uh, leadership council offices attend. So she's going, Kinley's gonna be making, you know, some type of a mailing to you all. And, or you can make donations on her webpage. Each, actually each one of the officers that will be attending Olin Summit will have a webpage on the Olin Summit um, overall page. So you can make donations that way. Details are still being worked out, how these can be made, but you know, as far as direct donations to Junior Civitans, I think they're gonna be going through Civitan International and you earmark them for our Junior Civitans. So if you state this, that's what the donation is for. So. At this time, Carmen, I don't know if you have anything you want to say, or we can open up the table here for any type of questions that you have. Jeannie, I think you covered it all. I'm excited to be working with you. I think we're, we make a great team and I'm excited for our junior civitans this year. Was not planning to be on camera, not camera ready. So <laughs> that's okay. But, over. but we're like, we like Thelma and Louise together. Okay. I mean, we just have so much fun together. It's pathetic. Okay. So it's going to be a great year. Are there any questions out there for, uh, there's a lot of changes to the Junior Civitans. We now have a total of eight clubs uh, between the two districts. So it's doable to start off the year. We'd like to see growth, but first we wanna concentrate on strengthening our whole entire organization. And we'll go from there, we'll go forward and grow in the future. Yes. Any questions? Okay. Please, please remember us. <laughs> Teresa says thank you to the both of you for taking care of our juniors. Thank you. Teresa says thank you for taking care of our juniors. Well, 
that's all we have for today. Stay tuned. And you're gonna, we're gonna make sure that you get all the newsletters and all the correspondence. Carmen's my the technology person. Oh my gosh. She's setting up the Instagrams and the and the Facebook pages so that the communications officers can take care of it. So she's even we're gonna get that going maybe this weekend, right? So we're running along. <laughs> And I'm glad I can still do this from North Carolina. So, <laughs> all right. Thank you guys. Have a good rest of the day. I am pleased and amazed to say that we are ahead of schedule, but we can still take a break. So, enjoy 15 minutes. Uh, stand up, walk around, check out the facilities, and, and be back.